Hey, what's up, Coach James Vaughn here, here to show you the Onyx Steel Mace. Uh, when I first add a tool to my arsenal, I really think, do I need it? And is it scalable for everyone else to coach it with? And I definitely gotta say, after spending a couple months with this, the Onyx Steel Mace is a must have for shoulder mobility. In everyday life, uh, especially in today's Western culture, we're constantly in a flexed position, rounded shoulders, flexed neck, being on our phones, being on a computer, eating, driving, this all adds up to very serious problems in the neck, shoulder, and then eventually the low back area. Uh, with the Onyx Steel Mace, you get really opened up and get a very, very good, great sense of where your body is posture-wise. That is your body's language. If it could speak, it would speak through your posture. And this is a great tool to utilize that with. So I'm gonna be showing you through this beginner workout on the best movements you can do to get better and then get a little bit more warrior mentality once you stick to the foundations here. All right, so first we're gonna be starting off with the 360s. We're gonna be doing 10 reps on each side. You're gonna halo the mace behind you and open up the lats and keep tall posture, maintaining a stable core. So you're gonna feel the bell get, work that pendulum behind you as you're working it. Be sure to get both sides. If you feel like you can't get the 360s now, do pendulums for 30 to 45 seconds and maintain your posture as you maintain that swing, loosening up the wrists and uh, the shoulders a little bit more. So once we're done with that, we're gonna go to the ballistic curls. You're gonna maintain tall posture. You're gonna extend one elbow and then push into the bar into another. I'm gonna slow down the video here so it looks like I'm going into a prayer position in the middle as it goes vertical. And it looks like I'm petting a cat as I drop it down. So you gotta stroke it as it comes down, maintain that loose grip and let that elbow fully extend. Next, we'll be going into lap uh, squats. You're gonna keep the lats packed, keep the bar at the sternum and maintain a broad chest as you squat down. You'll do a couple reps on each side and then you'll add that ballistic toss to it. This time you're not gonna extend the elbow. You're just gonna to toss it and squat, pop the hips and go right to the next side. You'll do that for 30 to 45 seconds. Next we'll be doing rebel presses. Uh, this is very, very hard. You gotta really maintain that level bar at the rack position and at the top of the press. If you want to make this harder, all you gotta do is just move that hand a little bit further away from the bell and press away. So if you wanna keep that strength, try to squeeze the other hand so you get a little more strength in that pressing hand. Lastly, we'll be doing uppercuts. You're gonna bring your top hand palm up. You're gonna elbow strike and then uppercut it and then bring it back to center. Notice I'm pivoting with a lot of force on this. I'm really digging those toes in left to right and really getting into that warrior mentality, giving that really good uppercut and then bring it back to center. So once again, I'm, going, I'm giving a really good elbow strike right here, uppercut and then bring it back to center. Make sure you do this uh, 15 reps on each side. Keep a very athletic posture, keeping the knees soft the whole time. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that workout. Uh, so when it comes to getting really good with the steel mason, there's one movement you really gotta pick to get good at this, it's the 360. That's the center of the uh, steel mace universe. Just like, you know, with the kettlebell, you have to have to be good at a swing for everything else to be good. With TRX, you gotta get good planks. So with the Onyx steel mace, if you get good with the 360, everything else is gonna go really smoothly, smoothly because your shoulders are gonna be broken down of all that tension. Um, if you want to get into uh, steel maces, they have a 7, 10, 15, 20, and 25. And if you go crazy like me, uh, I decided to get a, the quad mace, which is also 25 pounds. But what, it's not the weight that makes it harder, it's the leverage. So these are both 25 pounds, but as you can see, longer. And then of course, it's just badass looking if you... Uh, haven't noticed and get into your warrior mode. I'll be posting a, another video with this to show you more advanced stuff with what you can do with the quad mace. This is Coach Vaughn signing off. Hope you have fun with that.